What is going on everybody? This is Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today we're going to be completing the unboxing and the review of the world's smallest Pico projector. This one is called the Tanker S6 and it came from Amazon. I got it via the Prime service so it got here very very quickly. Now I think that this is more of a generic product because if you guys search S6 2 inch Pico projector you will find all the brands for this product so I just think that Tanker adopted it and added the brand but I don't think that they design it or uh, build this device so for that reason I am calling it a generic projector so getting a look here at the box you can notice that it does have a cube type of design and all the sides are going to measure only 2.1 inches and let me tell you guys I'm absolutely thrilled with this product I already checked it out it came in a protective wrapper and I already opened it I checked it out and that's why you are seeing this video because this thing is absolutely worth it I believe it has a price point of about $260 and here getting a look on the back side of the box you will find that it doesn't have all the specifications but now I know that this is a 100 lumen projector it has a native resolution of 854 by 480 it has a built-in battery for about 2500 milliamps and so on and so forth but I will be providing all the details as I am completing here the unboxing so sliding the box out here you can notice that it does come in a plain white box and I guess that gives the opportunity for um, these companies that adopt the product to actually create their own little um, label here as you guys see with uh, tanker uh, then we got the manuals and the manuals are actually quite helpful to be honest with you guys it gives you um, all the maintenance procedure what to do and not to do with the projector how to use the operating system by the way this is running Linux so that's kind of cool I never had a projector running this operating system and here if you go into page I believe it's uh, 15 you will notice that we have all the specifications of the product you can see it right there it has a native resolution like I said before of uh, 854 by 480 uh, it does uh, take in um, resolutions from 640 by 480 up to 1080p it supports mirror cast it has an RGB LED light that will last you about 30,000 hours uh, the focus is manual it does have a contrast ratio of 1001 and the cool part is that you can charge this device with any cell phone charger and that's great because you can carry a little battery pack with you and you can provide power to it and use it for more than the two hours that it will give you with the battery integrated um, also, we can see there the power consumption is about 8.5 watts. Uh, it has a built-in speaker. Then the input, you guys can see that it does have a mini HDMI port. It supports um, SD card slot up to 64 gigabytes. And here we can see the remaining of the measurements and the battery, like I explained, is a 2500. Uh, here we can see all the files supported for your uh, SD card and so on and so forth so yes it is a very cool tiny little projector uh, here is the product already you guys can see that wow this is just absolutely amazing every time I look at it it creates a lot of um, you know curiosity of how they were able to make a projector in such a small little cube again all the size measure about 2.1 inches um, and then here on the side we got the focus wheel we have the uh, selectors the stop key this is the power key. On the back, we have the mini HDMI port with the um, charging port. We got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, this is the IR blaster for your remote controller. We have the uh, tiny SD card slot on here. And then this is the opening for cooling purposes. It does have an integrated fan inside. On the front, we got here the lens with the tanker logo. Uh, towards the bottom here, you guys will notice that not only we have the speakers on here, but also has the female tripod connector um, already included. And also, we can see some rubber shoes on here in case you place it on a hard surface. It doesn't move around. So that's, again, another plus. And the build quality is absolutely excellent. On the top, it's not going to have any uh, sub-touch keys. Uh, it's just going to be for design. This is uh, glass. So you guys must be careful where you place it at because I'm pretty sure that it can crack very, very easily. So let's go ahead and set it aside and see what comes inside of the box here. You can see that it does have a very weird design. So I think that it opens here from the sides. And on this side, we have another tiny box with all the cool stuff in it. I think you have a tripod with this one. And we have a remote controller, like I said before. This is the remote controller, pretty standard. And it does use one of those flat batteries. Let me show you. This is the kind of battery that it is using currently. So that's kind of cool. And it is very lightweight. So you can take it with you anywhere and you're not gonna even feel it. 
Um, next, inside of this box, I believe you have a tripod, and here it is. Now the tripod, surprisingly guys, is made of very nice qualities, and it is all aluminum, and it feels very nice and sturdy, and I believe that you can extend it, as you can tell. It doesn't extend too much, but it does help a little bit, especially if you're gonna use this on top of a desk, or whatever the case may be. You guys can see how cool this is. Um, let me see what else we have inside of this tiny box. I think we have the uh, HDMI converter. It goes from micro into standard size. This is very important, especially since I want to connect my um, Amazon Fire Stick. This is definitely convenient. Let me see what else we have. I think we have the um, HDMI cable. Now the HDMI cable already comes converted for you guys. It goes from micro to regular. So again, this is very nice to have it in here. And I think that on the other side of this box is where we're going to find the charger. Now the charger, I think they just went too much on it for such a small projector. This is basically one of those uh, cell phone charger, but they made it look more serious by just creating this tiny box. You guys can see that if you read on the specifications, it is a five volt, two amp charger. So I can use any smartphone charger and it should work just fine. So for that reason, I may be keeping these um, inside of the box, who knows? I'm not sure yet. And then we even have a power cord. So this is too much wire for such a small little projector. So inside of the box here, we had nothing else. And now let's go ahead and power this thing on and check it out. So now here we have the Tanker S6 all set up and ready to go. Now you guys are going to see a little bit of flickering and that's coming from my camera. This is not how the projector looks in real life. Uh, the colors are very nice and saturated. Keep in mind that I'm only projecting it at 20 inches and it can go up to 120 inches. But now for best results, you guys must have it at a completely dark room. If you have a light on, the colors are going to be affected a little bit. Keep in mind that this is only a 100 lumen projector and it's not something like a 500, 900 that we have seen in the past. So yes, the lumens are not very strong, but now the quality of the picture is actually very impressive. Uh, now on the setup page here, you're going to notice that we only had the option to change the language, which by the way has about 10 of them. Uh, we can also do a uh, factory reset and also a software update, and that's pretty much all you can do with this particular projector. Then we have the inputs. We got here the HDMI. We had the Wi-Fi display, which is going to work for Miracast and also AirPlay. So yes, you can use it with your iPod iPod, a Mac, or even the iPhone. So that's very, very cool. We got here the picture viewer. This is in case you want to connect a TF card and share your pictures with your family, you can do so. Uh, same thing for music and also movies. Now, one of the first testing we are completing here with the Tanker S6 is the Miracast connection with my Samsung Galaxy S8. So you click here where it says Wi-Fi display. Then from here, you're going to make sure to select whether you want AirPlay or Miracast. In my case, I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S8, so I have to go with Miracast. Then I find it very helpful to get this application. It is called Miracast Shortcut, and you guys can see it right there on the bottom side of my Samsung Galaxy S8. You will click on it, and then it's going to ask you to connect here to Cast Screen, and you're going to click on it. And then after this, it's going to be automatically pairing with the projector. So just give it a second, and in no time, you will see the Miracast transmitting here to the projector, which is quite cool and very easy to use. And there we go. It has connected already, so let me exit this message. And now you guys can see that everything is working perfectly well, and it's very efficient. I'm going to try to show you here my Samsung Galaxy SA so you can see exactly the response time. I mean, it is not super quick, but it's not super slow either. I think that for such a little projector, it's doing quite well. So let's go here on YouTube, and I'm going to be playing one of my own videos to test the quality of the audio. So let's go here into my channel. Let's go into my videos. And then let's play the one here for the iPhone X clone. So I'll be getting my microphone closer to the projector, so that way you can um, hear the quality of the speaker. So let's get started here. Everybody, this is Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today I am very excited to show you the unboxing and the hands-on of the iPhone 10 replica, also known 
iPhone 10. Now this came directly from China and it was scheduled to arrive on September 10th, but unfortunately due to the fact that while well, we had Hurricane Irma here in South Florida, I wasn't able to complete the unboxing on time and I do apologize for that. But now along with this box came the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 replica. This is the one-to-one -to, -one to the original. So I'm just waiting for the original to arrive so that way maybe we can do a one-to-one -one comparison uh, with the Google Phone Note 8. Anyways, looking at this box in which we don't know exactly how it's going to look, we are assuming that the original will have exactly the same design. On the side, we see that typical iPhone logo, and the same thing goes here on the right side. On the top, you got the Apple. And there we witnessed the quality of the mirror cast between the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the Tanker S6. I would say it is almost excellent with the exception that you cannot retrieve your device more than one foot away from the projector. Otherwise, you will start noticing some stuttering on the audio and also the video. So for that reason, I would definitely recommend that you guys keep your cell phone very close if you're using the mirror cast feature as well as the AirPlay. So now that we have completed the testing of the Miracast connection with my Samsung Galaxy S8, it is time now to check out the HDMI port. So for that, I connected it my Amazon Fire Stick using the tiny adapter that was included with the projector. So all we have to do now is click on HDMI and it should go directly into it. And of course, I'll be connecting once again to YouTube just to try it out. And I should be connected already to Wi-Fi on here. So you guys can see that everything is working perfectly well. I don't have any problems using it. And this is something cool because you are basically converting uh, your projector into a smart one. So let's go here on YouTube and let's check out the quality of the projection. So far, it is doing absolutely great. Of course, it's a lot better than Mericast. And that's the main comparison that I wanted to do here. So let's go into my channel. Okay, and now here we have the video for the iPhone X clone. Okay, so now here we have the video that I just played before about the iPhone X clone. So let me go ahead and get again the microphone closer to the projector so that way you guys can check the sound quality. What is going on everybody, this is Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today I am very excited to show you the unboxing and the hands-on of the iPhone 10 replica, also known as Goo Phone 10. Now this came directly from China and it was scheduled to arrive on September 10th, but unfortunately due to the fact that while well, we had Hurricane Irma here in South Florida, I wasn't... What's going on everybody? This is Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today is September 9th of 2017 and I do live in South Florida. So as you guys know, there's a hurricane approaching us. It is called Irma. It's coming at a category four. So this is a very dangerous storm. And now before I run out of power here in my house, I decided to just go so now that we have completed the testing here of the Tanker S6, I have to say guys that I'm absolutely impressed with this product. I mean, just look at the size. It's only 2.1 inches in every single side. It comes with a built-in 200, 5,000, 3.7 volt battery that is able to last about two hours. And you also have the ability to charge it while you're using it. So I would recommend that you guys bring something like a power bank. It will work perfect. And all you have to do is use one of those cheap uh, USB cables. You don't have to use the one that came with it because you don't need the um, outlet power source, 120 volts. You can just use one of these connected to the back here of the projector. Then you will connect it to the uh, battery pack and you should be all set to go. You can play for hours and hours depending on how big your battery pack is. Um, also, as I show you guys, it does work here with my Amazon Fire Stick and that's really, really cool. I had to use the adapter that came with it, which is right here and everything should be okay. Now make sure that you don't put a lot of pressure into it because you could damage here the port. Uh, but other than that, guys, this thing is absolutely great. Now something I wish that maybe uh, Tinker could have added to this projector or whoever the manufacturer is is the um, tiny USB port so that way we can do um, software updates a little bit easier uh, and also a carrying case but other than that this is an excellent product especially for the price and considering how small it is I think it's absolutely great so with this being said if you guys have any questions just leave the comments below don't forget to like this video subscribe for more thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on my next one